Scorpio, welcome into your reading. It is great to have you here. This is a timeless reading that we're going to be looking into with regards to messages coming in from your spirit guide. Whatever is coming in at this time is meant to be heard by you. Let us begin by calling in your spiritual team. Spirit guides for Scorpio, please come into my spirit room. Guide me in this reading and show me clearly what it is I need to see. Speak to me clearly what it is I need to hear. For the highest good for all my Scorpios who are watching. Scorpio, it's wonderful to have you here. Thank you for coming back if you've been here before. If it is your first time, thank you for clicking onto this video. My name is Deborah. I'm your head rich for today. For today. Let's get into your reading. Let's get these messages out for you and find out what are they, what is the messages coming in with regards to different areas of your life. Okay, that card wants to be seen. What is going on? Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. The Earth Guardian energy or the energy of what is going on in this portion of the reading is all about material aspect of your life. It's about your career. It's about your money. It's about your home. It's about your stability in some kind of way. With the stay rooted and grounded energy, this could be what you are trying to achieve. It could be how you are feeling, you need it to be more stable, or you could even be working on your own stability, working on your financial growth, working on your home, um, creating long-term stability for yourself. Let's get into this energy and have a look and see what we will see here with regards to the Earth Guardian energy. This would be the same as saying Pentacles energy. So let's see what's coming up here with you. With the Earth Guardian, we have got the five of earth you see there we go there we go five of earth which is five of pentacles we've got the hermit and we have got the messenger of earth, earth as well i want you to say that the earth guardian kind of reminds me of the knight of pentacles um energy and this messenger of earth comes in here as the Knight of Pentacles. This is the same card. So definitely there is movement here towards you trying to create the Earth energy, the Pentacles energy, trying to create stability for yourself here. Um, I'll tell you what's wrong and maybe what could be bothering you. We are going to get a clarify out. With regards to the Five of Earth coming in here, I will show you the card now. I can kind of see what is wrong. There's a fear here. Or there is a worry that you are carrying with regards to the financial stability with regards to how you're feeling um, you may have fa suffered a financial loss here in some kind of way this could be money that you lost or money that didn't go where it needed to go it's gone now it can also be maybe a job loss of some kind something got lost here even possibly a home you know and um, with the Five of Pentacles showing up here as well, it can also be an indication that you are worried about financial situations. You are worried maybe the money will not cover what you need to be paying out. Um, you are worried maybe that your career or your job that you're in is not stable and may not be able to carry you through. There's a card of worry, okay? Let's see what clarifies with this. Absolutely, that's just crazy. Yes, it's a card of worry, all right? Definitely some worry about your financial stability. Um, it's like, you know, you're just concerned about this energy. You could really be um, going through your day-to-day -day sort of like responsibilities and the things that you need to do. But you don't sort of voice this. Maybe you'll mention it like, I'm worried about my job or I'm worried about this. But it's really when you're alone, um, you know, you don't speak about it maybe to your children, to your family in such a deep way but when you're alone it does go deep and you do really feel worried about the situation um really when you're alone then all those fears just come to life inside of you here so i can see maybe what could be the problem here because we've got two cards coming out um that are tied to almost like no movement or stagnancy or a pause so something is definitely going on here with the hermit card coming in we have got virgo so with Virgo's energy, uh, you're looking at silence. You're looking at a moment where you will usually see somebody meditating. 
um, in a very silent, quiet position. So there's not a lot of movement, there's not a lot of action going on, meaning that there could be something going on here where you are trying to get something to go, you're trying to get something to happen, a change to take place, but that door is closed to you. That is an actual door there, and there's all these keys hanging above, and there's the keyhole. So you're standing by this door, it is not opening. A shift is not taking place, so you're not getting the break that you want here. Let's have a look and see the clarifier. Definitely there. Definitely worried here. Um, you're not getting that door to open. And you seem to be almost stuck in that five of earth and the five of cups coming in here. They tie to each other. You're just stuck in this energy. It's the same energy again same energy again of really feeling worried maybe events have taken place in the past that have gotten you into a place that you don't want to be in a situation that you're finding yourself in here and it really hurts your feelings and i feel as if you're feeling you're asking yourself why is nothing changing why can't i get this door to open what is wrong what is going on here it's a lot of fear coming up in this energy um there is a knight of pentacles showing up here so yes okay there is a movement of financial stability showing up in your world. It is pretty slow as well because anything that is the pentacles energy can mean a year, okay? Um, can mean a year to months even. Or it can mean growth that takes place over a year, but it, it's very slow, one little step at a time improvement sort of a situation. So this could be what makes you just feel like this hermit energy. This could have been something that's been going on with you for quite some time as well. So let's get in here and have a look at the clarifier. Oh, you got good news. It's going to pick up. Things are going to start to get better. I was telling you, pinnacles is a year. Uh, cups is a month. <laughs> it's months. So, so you are looking at definitely an improvement. I would say over the next couple of months for you, Things and the improvement with your stability, the improvement with the amount of money coming in, how you're earning that money, where it's going, what it's doing, how it's improving your life, it is going to start to speed up for you. So yes, you do have some stability coming in. Just be a little bit patient. I feel like it can start off a bit slow here with the improvement. It is improving and then it's going to start rapidly picking up much faster for you. So this is a positive improvement for you with regards to finances compared to the fact that it may have been very, very closed and very shut down. The energy now is beginning to move and it's gaining that momentum, okay? So that is a good one for you, especially if you're worried about anything financial. Okay, so let's get into another message for you here, Scorpio, and find out what your spirit guide would like to show us at this time. That's the one. I saw that card flipping. The cosmos, Ooh, okay, so you've got creativity and vastness coming up here. So the creativity and vastness in energy shows me that there is an open expanse of the unknown in front of you with regards to something that you may be trying to create here. Um, there's a question mark here about something that you wish to see in your life, that you wish to experience in your life, but you're not very sure um, will you be able to create this? You could even be doing something creative. You could be doing something creative. You could be um, uh, one, having a plan that you wish to embark upon and you're not really sure if you really go down this road, if you go down this direction, is it actually meant for you? Okay, so the cards that have come out here is the Three of Earth. Okay, it is the Three of Fire. And there's also a Two of Cups here. So, um, this energy that we're looking at here, it's really about you trying to create something into the unknown future, trying to change something in your life here. And you can see what's going on with the finances here. Okay, let's jump straight back into that earth energy. You got the three of pentacles coming in here, which is the three of earth. Okay, back to that energy. This is what you need. This is what you need. You need the three of pentacles to put whatever this is right. It is showing up here in your reading. The three of pentacles is you needing and wanting to have that financial stability forever. Not just for a couple of months and it's gone again. You need this permanently in your life here. Let's see what aligns with this. 
the high priestess. So you're going to have to trust something here. I feel like there's something you want to do. Okay. I feel like there's an idea that you have. There's something going on in your mind where you are saying to yourself, if, if I change something here, if I follow my dream, if I keep working on this goal, if I keep moving forward into this vastness and I begin to create there, what will happen? In comes your high priestess. The high priestess is a card of mystery. It's a card of um, seeing into that vastness and trusting that as that vastness comes towards you and it shows what it's going to be, that it's going to be exactly what you want it to be. And let me tell you something. She is trusting that the finances here, that the stability that you need will be there if you change something, if you go for something and you work on a dream here. And the dream shows up here, okay, as the Three of Wands energy. The Three of Wands is an expansion of your life. And you got the vastness coming in here. This is where you're trying to get your life to go. But you want that vastness, that open expanse that you're looking at there to be a positive move for you. The three of wands means there's something here that you're trying to change in your everyday life. And it's also not just attached to your money. It's attached to your joy of life and how you feel in your life. You might have a dream that you're working on, something that you're trying to work on, something you're trying to create. And I do feel like it feels risky to you because you're not sure if it'll work. And I just heard Spirit Guide saying you're tired of disappointment. And that does show up here as well. You're tired of trying something and you get disappointed because it doesn't work. Okay. That's when you try it again. Yeah. You will try things and you will get disappointed. And you will want to give up and you will sit down there and cry over that spilled milk there because you're going, wow, I tried this. It didn't work. I'm so disappointed. And you want to go hide in a cocoon, you know, and not come out ever again. That is when you need to give yourself a little bit of a break and do it again. You will be disappointed about things that you try a thousand times, a hundred times, but you keep on doing it until something works. That's what it takes. I'm, I'm telling you, that's what it takes. You will try hundreds of things to try to change your life, to try to become the creator of your own reality. And all of those hundreds of things will fail miserably. And what do you do? You get back on the boat and you try it one more time, 101 times. But don't do it the same way. Either work on the same thing by doing it differently or try something different. Also, you know, I don't like to give up on things too quickly. So if something's not working, I try it in a different way. Okay. Yes. And then you will be successful. Try it again. Try it again. There is a celebration waiting for you here. If you got threes coming up and you're reading quite a lot, starting off here, actually, when, I'm, when I was speaking about those three cups there, you got the three of cups, you got the three of pentacles here, you got the three of wands, and you have the three of cups here again. But this time it's not three cups of sadness, it's three cups of celebration. Try something again. Go for it again. It's like if you've been looking for, for work and you've been applying over and over again, you don't get it. You keep on doing it. It becomes just a hobby. It's just something that you just do until you get a result, okay? And also do it differently. Rewrite that CV. See how you can make it look better. Um, go and take a course so you can add some more um, skills into your, into your CV there as well. Do something that can improve it in some kind of way, but do not give up because you are here. You're so close to some kind of celebration and breakthrough here. Don't stop right now. Okay, keep going. I do feel like there is something here with your two of cups in your energy. For some of you guys, it could, it, it's good, this could be a relationship. Um, it just depends what tarot card is going to come up. There could be a person here in your world, okay, that's either around you now, coming in. Um, this could be your person, the person. Um, this could also be to do with what you're trying to create here. Meaning that what you want is also meant for you. That is your two of cups that you're trying to build. So this is something very good. Let's have a look and see what will come through here. Whatever this is, it's going to solve your biggest problem. What is your idea? What are you working on? What is your goal? What is it you're trying to create here? 
Because if you go for this feeling that you have inside of you about something you want to create, if you do this, you're going to solve your biggest problem. The five of pentacles showing up here twice in your reading. You will solve your biggest problem that you are facing with the finances, with the stability in your life. It takes you to step out of your comfort zone. It takes you to follow and face the unknown with a high priestess and do it anyway. And this is going to make you solve a major financial problem that you have in your life here. That long-term feeling like, I'm not sure if I'm going to be safe in five years from now. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to retire and rest when I get older because I'm worried about the money. And that will solve it for you. Sometimes the, the craziest idea of what you want to do in life can really, really change your world. I remember seeing something on Instagram. It was Instagram somewhere where this lady said um i saw i quit my job you know what i mean and she started making pottery like literally like coffee cups and like tea cups and coffee cups but they're so oh my god they're so beautiful um the way she makes she literally makes them herself on a spinning wheel on the pottery wheel and she's been doing it for two years now and she's making her life from doing that and she's doing very very well so she went for this and she said i was so scared to do this but here i am and she wanted to tell everybody if i can do this if i can go for my dream create my reality so can you so appropriate for what we're seeing here it might even be better than what you ever thought okay what other message do you have coming in here Harmony is rocking up for you with the sec here. You got harmony with music coming in here. This is a very good energy to come up here. I'm interesting, interested to see why it's coming up. Harmony means peace. It means all things in order. It means things in balance. It means things working well together. Okay, so let's have a look and see. Maybe the creativity that you're trying to make move into is something to do with music. Imagine that. So you have got here the Ten of Pentacles. You have got the Seven of Air. And you have got the Nine of Air. Again, you've got the corresponding cards rocking up here. And you have a Ten of Pentacles here. I do feel like the harmony for me also goes back to this energy. The Two of Cups going back to the harmony energy. Because I feel like there is definitely something that you're meant to be doing here. And it's got to do with maybe a talent that you have, something that you have going on here. Because whatever this is, it's going to solve major, lingering, long-term problems that you have been stressing about, okay? Your Ten of Pentacles is a promise of what's to come. You can go beyond just the Three of Pentacles here, where you see your life as being stable, where you see your life as being, okay, I can do all I need to do. You can thrive here. You can thrive from the Three of Pentacles into the Ten of Pentacles if you follow your heart. Um, there's a truth here about, or there's a part of yourself that I feel you are not living your truth in some kind of way. Because if you've got harmony, this is what I understand about doing something that you want to do, that you feel in your heart, this kind of energy. There's something I want to do. There's a calling that I have. There's something telling me, go do this. Um, that is your calling, okay? That is what you're supposed to be in alignment with because it's what's calling you. When you put your life into alignment with your truth about who you are, who you want to be, how you want to express yourself, what is your purpose here on this world, um, you fall into harmony inside of you because you're not out of balance of who you truly are you are living in this world literally the person you are meant to be walking your path that will solve the financial difficulties because the moment you get into harmony with your truth you also fall into harmony with the universe that's the purpose of us being in balance when we are in balance excuse me in every way we will then move into alignment with the like the, the movement of this whole universe the whole galaxy 
it seems like absolute chaos out there when you look at all those stars and you see things just going around but everything is like a perfect dance you know it, they, it's a dance between these different galaxies because they're all in harmony when you put your own inner energy into harmony you fall into place with that of the universe and as the universe moves in perfection so will your life go and that's what will create this abundance coming towards you here let's see the clarification card abundance you'll be so proud of yourself if you go for whatever this dream is you will be so proud of yourself because of what you will be able to achieve that is unbelievable and it is going to come in here and it is going to solve here something that has been lingering for a very long time in your life the seven of air is a seven of swords it shows that there has been something that has been repeating in your life over and over again and it's like i try to solve it i try to sort it out it just keeps coming back <clears throat> you will solve it you will gain power over that you will become empowered over this energy the wheel will turn if you move into the harmony of what is calling you and the wheel of fortune is about your destiny once again your fate what it is you're actually supposed to be doing and the truth about who you really are um i feel like it will turn for you and it will overpower the seven of swords energy where it will come to an ending in your life with the nine of air which is where we started on the other side here we ending with it here there's worries here that you have once again about your long-term future i feel like you got a lot of worrying energy coming into your reading you will solve that so quickly you will move away from what is worrying you here so quickly this this is action you got a lot of also nights coming up into your reading you got speeding energy showing up here things beginning very slowly picking up speed and then picking up speed even quicker because the seven of swords is all about even weeks weeks of energy we're moving from a year to a month to a week as you are moving towards and stepping into this new creation of your life into that vast unknown energy trusting the future trusting what you do not see events are going to unfold for you where it is going to put an ending here to the worry that you have but it's going to require you with these three nights here to take action towards what this is meaning you do something moving towards creation creating this goal it's the only way you have to also be like this world that we're on everything in this world is physical it's practical the wind blows the trees grow water moves you know what i mean you have to do the same you have to grow you have to move you have to do everything the same so that you can also get things moving in your life if you take this action you will end something that is really been bothering you and a time where you anxious and always under stress about something that will be removed from you scorpio there we go thank you so much for being here this is a beautiful reading i really hope this helps you i hope it guides you as you're moving forward in your day and i will see you guys in your next reading bye